I wanted to do a review of the Indie Lee sunscreen. This is a newer launch from them. As soon as they launched it, I knew I wanted to try it. So I'm gonna be doing, really this is gonna be a first impressions, but I feel like when it comes to sunscreen, one of the most helpful things is just to see how it applies to the skin. I mean, I know also you guys would wanna know like if it caused breakouts or whatnot. So I could definitely do updates on my Instagram about that if you guys are interested. But what I'm gonna focus on here is like, does it leave a white cast? How does it feel on the skin? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel lightweight? All those details. And then of course, you know, what it's made with. So this is a 100% mineral based sunscreen. The mineral filter that is used in this is zinc oxide and they do use 20% which is a higher percentage than I have seen before for zinc oxides and sunscreen but normally they do a combination like I've seen a lot of like zinc oxide and then titanium dioxide so this one only uses zinc oxide so I guess that's why they have a higher percentage of it it has SPF 30 it retails for $42 which is pretty pricey I would say for a sunscreen although I guess like in the clean beauty world you do see sunscreens around this price range and like at Sephora you do see sunscreens around that price range which yeah it's pretty pricey to be honest um, but this has 20% uncoated zinc oxide for broad spectrum SPF 30 protection this has squalane, shea butter and aloe to help provide rich moisture to keep skin hydrated all day long plus it is unscented so that's good to know a fragrance free formula so that makes it more likely that it's going to work well for sensitive skin or acne prone skin by not having any added fragrances in here um, it says it's unscented it dries down clean and it is safe for kids and it says that it's supposed to be great for all skin types and tones so that makes it sound like it's not going to have a white cast. This is cruelty free, phthalate free, paraben free, and there are 1,300 plus banned ingredients that it does not have. So that is what it says on their website. If you want to know more about the all of the ingredients in this, definitely check out their website. This is a list of the ingredients. But what I'm seeing here is there are quite a few oils in here. Um, I'm not seeing essential oils though, which is good. But I do see like sunflower seed oil, pomegranate seed oil. Andy Lee is definitely very committed to using clean ingredients. It does say on their website that all of their products are free from parabens, mineral oil, sulfate-based detergents, synthetic fragrance, petrolatum-based ingredients, phthalates, phenoxethanol, formaldehyde, and GMO ingredients. So if you are wanting to know about that, it is free of a lot of those things. And like I mentioned before, they formulate without 1,300 plus banned ingredients, including the ones that I just mentioned. So let's go ahead and get into applying this. So it's just a squeezy tube. So let's go ahead. Ooh. This is what it looks like. I'm happy because immediately I could tell when it came out it wasn't too thick of a formula. Um, and lightweight is kind of what I like to go for with sunscreens, especially on my skin. It's not as lightweight as I was hoping, but... You know, it doesn't feel super heavy either, but we're gonna have to see how well this rubs into the skin because right now I'm feeling like it could potentially leave a white cast, but actually it is seeming to sink into the skin pretty well. I'm gonna apply a bit more because you wanna make sure that you're, that you're applying enough. So I'm gonna take some of this onto my forehead. I feel like it's gonna be like one of those sunscreens where you kinda have to like let it sink into your skin a little bit. Um, though I mean I know mineral based sunscreens are they kind of do like sit on top of your skin to reflect the sun Whereas like chemical sunscreens they you know absorb the sun, but You know this should still kind of like sink into your skin to the point where hopefully the white cast won't be as obvious I feel like it looks way more like there's still a white cast on my skin on camera in person It doesn't look like there's a white cast. It looks regular um, so I don't know if it's just like the camera thing, but here's up close. Yeah, I feel like you can tell now that it's like absorbed into the skin where it doesn't look like a white cast. So that's good. Obviously, I can only speak for my own skin tone um, for how well it blends in, but it seems to have synced in where it just looks like my skin now. So that's good. It feels... I would say a little bit heavier than normally I would probably prefer, but honestly, it's probably not different than, like, 
the heaviness of it is probably not that much different than some of my other favorites like the integrity impeccable skin that one is a thicker type of consistency type of sunscreen so this i would say is probably a similar thickness to that honestly maybe even a little more lightweight than that product um but it definitely feels very moisturizing so if you have dry skin you probably like this and also as it's like absorbing into the skin better it is starting to feel like less like less obvious like it feels nice and light on the skin like it's like i'm not really feeling that i have it on my skin anymore when i first applied it you can obviously tell like uh, you apply like a thick type of moisturizer type of product not super thick though but I try my best to describe it i don't know if i'm doing the best job describing it um but it doesn't feel super heavy and i feel like even if you do have oily skin or a combination skin i have combination skin i think that you would like this and it's definitely gives like a little bit of a dewy finish which i actually think is pretty but i probably might on a normal basis want to kind of set my face with a powder or i would just do my makeup i honestly do like how it is looking like it doesn't it just honestly just looks like i just applied a moisturizer my skin looks dewy and healthy and yeah so I guess those are my thoughts. I don't know if that's super helpful, but I can definitely update you guys um, on how my skin reacts to it, if um, it causes any breakups or not. But I have high hopes for this because I don't really feel like there are ingredients that should cause issues. It does have a coconut oil derivative in it. It has um, caprylic triglyceride, but that is in a lot of products. And I feel like, yeah, it's just in a lot of products, um, even products that are said to be good for acne-prone skin. And I personally will say I have not had issues with that ingredient causing breakouts for me, but it is something just to note if you know that your skin doesn't react well to coconut oil derivatives. Um... But yeah, don't get it confused. Like, it's not coconut oil. So I don't want you to freak out and think, you know, it has coconut oil in it. But it is a derivative. Um, so, yeah. Just kind of put that into consideration if you know that your skin doesn't like that ingredient. At first, I was thinking maybe it was a little too heavy. But once it, like, has been sitting on your skin for a bit, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, it just feels like... I have a nice moisturizer on my skin but like it doesn't even feel like it's like sitting on top of the skin really it just feels my skin just feels nicely moisturized so i like how it feels if you guys do have any questions let me know in the comment section below if you guys do want to check out this sunscreen i will have it listed and linked in the description box below and yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you guys do want to see any more of my sunscreen related videos i have a whole playlist um for sunscreen videos that i've done i've done quite a few videos about sunscreens because i have tried quite a lot of sunscreens um so if you want to check that out get some sunscreen recommendations you might find those videos helpful i will put that sunscreen playlist in the description box below if you are new here or you haven't subscribed i would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content from me in the future and if you enjoyed this video please let me know by giving me a thumbs up but thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all for my next video